Um, it looks a little bit thick, like heavier than it actually is, because uh, there's something big in here, which I'm really excited about. Recently, I started um, trying new shampoos and conditioner, and I found a deep conditioner that I love the smell of. The product was amazing, and it was just all around perfect. So I wanted to try out their shampoo and regular shampoo and regular conditioner. So I got the Aussie Awesome Volume uh, shampoo, and oh my gosh, like. And the reason why I got these is because the deep, three minute deep hair um, mask thing, it was in my uh, November favorites, October favorites. November's still going on. October favorites, oh my gosh, this year's flying by. I'm trying to like scoop it away. I don't know what's going on. But I honestly thought they would all smell like coconut because that's what the deep conditioner smells like. But this smells more like fruity. It kind of smells like slight hint of cherry. I don't know. Um... It smells good. It's not horrible smelling or anything like that. I'm right now, I'm currently using the shampoo and conditioner from Head & Shoulders because I had really bad dandruff. And now that's all healed up, so I'm going to try new things. So this is the Aussie Moist Conditioner. Dang, the lids are hard to open. I don't know if that, this smells like coconut. It, not really coconut, but um, that smells kind of like a pina colada, actually, which is very pleasant. But the weird thing is, is that the... Um, three minute uh, deep conditioner like when it doesn't have a top it just sits upside down and you just squeeze it whenever you're ready to use it so these are like really interesting to get into so I'll probably just be keeping them like halfway open because that is difficult I mean look at this ow like it hurts it smells good though so we'll see about that and then next I got one of these little uh, trim buffing blocks are like three bucks and they're the four sided thing I get really bad ridges in my nails and if I paint them too much or if I don't really take care of them and moisturize my hands especially getting the cold months my nails start like peeling back I don't know if you can I really love these things these probably last me like six months three to six months I do enjoy this little guy and I uh, really needed a new one so then okay I have, for the past year have been loving oxblood oxblood nails and the only one I had was from like a little kid I got like two years ago that had uh it's I think it's the color workshop you only get them for Christmas when you get the set of like four they don't actually have a line at um Walgreens or CVS so I picked up the wet and wild mega lash blast and you're under spell or under <laughs> under your spell and I'm really excited about this because I finally have a big bottle I know the name I can tell you guys the name instead of like this color shop thingy color looks like that's what I don't know what it's called so now I finally can do that and I love the brushes on these this is actually my favorite nail polish wet and wild um they just are flawless they don't chip just amazing amazing product and they're very very cheap so I got that and then also I'm still obsessed with oxblood that's this is this is what is on my lips right now. It's the Revlon Ultimate Suede, Color Stay Ultimate Suede, and Backstage. And I have uh, Socialite, and I have Fashionista. And Socialite's the lightest one. Fashionista is the one I've been wearing recently. But I saw this one. This is the darkest one in their collection. I was like, I have to try it. And I love how it looks. I just love how it looks. It's just amazing, and it stays on for a long time. The trick with these, though, if you want them long-lasting, don't put a lip balm under them. Make sure your lips are... Um, You've exfoliated them first, but do not put a lip balm on first. You put the lip balm on after. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I love wearing it. Amazing, amazing color. And then I decided I had like a little CVS. If you're a part of the CVS uh, rewards program, you they have like a machine where you can go and like do your like scan your card, and it shoots out a lot of. If you go as much as I do, it shoots out a lot. Like I get like feet yards upon. I've had three yards worth of coupons one time it was really really crazy <laughs> but then I also get like 20% off 30% off whatever and so I had a 20% off and then it was buy one get one half off for the Alme so I got the Alme CC cream because a lot of you have been wanting me to try out more CC creams so I wanted to try this one out and I actually have a first impression coming up next week uh next Thursday and you can check it out there but yeah, I just wanted to try it out and see how it was before I tried the Olay CC cream because that's the only other CC cream I know of in the drugstore. So, got that. And then the other product was the Alme Wake Me Up or Wake Up the Eyeliner and Highlighter Crayon Illuminator. It just looks like this. And it's just really, 
it just looked really pretty honestly I, I stood there for a while and I was like I don't want this I don't want this this is too much I want to get exact amount as the other one was so I'd get like you know uh, half off I didn't want to get something that was really cheap and then only get like two dollars off I wanted to get like five or six dollars off but the highlighter it's very pink but easily blendable and there is glitter flex in there which I'm not a big fan of glitter flex but on days where I really need it it might be good okay this is really good but whenever I press in it it like scooted down okay there it goes so that's a really pretty let me get the pink uh, really pretty colors right there there's the highlighter right there and then the uh, eyeliner there so that's really pretty payoff this one is really pretty but it's got a lot of like hot like not sh highlighter but shimmer in it that I'm not sure about so the next product I got and the last product I thought I had so much more stuff than this I don't know what happened because I was like, oh, I got so much thing, so many things that I can share with these guys. It's going to be so exciting. But, no. Okay, so then I bought the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. And I haven't tried this yet. I was going to wear it today, but I don't like wearing blush and lipstick at the same time. It just throws me off. But, ugh. Darn you, safety seal. Ew. Just check my finger. Okay, this is obnoxious. Honestly, just thought about lighting on fire in the candle. Over here. Oh my gosh, the struggle. Like, seriously? Ha! Huh. The pen came to the rescue. Okay, finally. Let's swatch this bad boy. So, I've heard a few things about the Wet n Wild um, blushes. Which, it came with a little angled brush, which I'm not going to use. But, to swatch... Okay, that is the most uneven. <laughs> okay, so. That is the color. Right there from my finger. I don't know if you can see. That right there is from my finger and that is from the brush. So that's what it's going to more so look like. Um, very uneven because it's like over here and then here. But anyways, very pretty color. Perfect for fall, I think. Really happy with the purchases that I got. I'm really excited. These are all things that I absolutely needed. The only splurge thing that I got were the Alme products, which this was a good first impression, and this is going to be fun to play with. So that is all I got for right now, guys. I also have a pair of boots that's that are coming in from Just Fab. I'll show you a picture now. They're gorgeous. I don't know the name of them, but here's the name right here. They're gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear them. I do not have a pair of basic black riding boots. I have a pair of black over the knee boots that are flat that really make me look really, really short and like completely like squish my body. So these are going to be perfect. And I'm actually wearing my just fab Sybil boots right now, which I guess I can show you a little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this chambray shirt. That is my mother's. It's very light wash. And then just some leggings and my little Sybil boots. So I am going to be putting on some, uh, I'm going to put, oh my goodness, Chloe, I'm going to be putting on some accessories, you know, just like my basic necklace that I wear, my Michael Kors watch, and my earrings that I've been obsessed with from Francesca's, but my hair, I did have a half down, but I can't really do this on like first day hair because it just like whew, swells up, so I might be doing a little bun in the back. I don't know, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have seen anything recently at CVS or Walgreens or Rite Aid, whatever, let me know about them because I do want to try out more products and I do want to do more first impressions for you. I already have two more foundations that have been requested that I'm going to buy tomorrow and um, try them out for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye! Okay guys, so this is actually my finished outfit. I have uh, this blazer that was my brother's when he was little. So it hits me just quarter length. This uh, sh chambray shirt, I just rolled it up. And then I have my leggings from Forever 21. And my civil boots from Just Fab. And Michael Kors watch. And my red envelope necklace. No earrings today. And yes, that's the finished look.